Hello and welcome everybody to PSR podcast episode 13. Um, I'm one of your hosts as always etiquette and with me are other regular hosts iron. Oh, and Jordan 97. Hello. And with us today is a very special guest Kaguya Nikki. Hello. Uh, we'll get into to why they're here pretty soon. Um, so before we jump into the notable runs, uh, just a couple of things that have happened this past month. Um, first one was actually a pretty major change uh, to the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee leaderboards. Um, you'll notice that there is now a new main category, um, and that main category is any percent no mount skips or NMS. Um, any percent no mount skips is basically the old any percent category. Um, where the new any percent is sort of like the new category um basically so for i think it's been featured on the podcast before but for maybe eight months or so um it's been known that we've been able to skip a trainer in victory road um it's uh pokemaniac dawson right at the end of victory road by sort of just getting past him um running right through his vision and it was kind of a, a weird inconsistent skip that was really cool to get sometimes um it would save like about a minute if you got it um it was found and i i forget who originally found it but i know joker sleeps did a lot of the testing with it um it was actually found that you can skip every single trainer in victory road um and there's not proven but theorized that you can skip pretty much any trainer um as long as you have a mount that you can ride so um, the community voted to split this out into its own category. Um, so the couple of runs that have used these mount skips um, have been moved over to the any percent board. And the original any percent board is now the any percent NMS board. Um, as you can see here, the, the any percent board is not very big. Um, these skips are very inconsistent. So it's sort of a, if you happen to get it, you're on this board now. Um, but yeah, it's a an interesting change um ultimately i think any percent no no mount skips is still going to be the the primary category for the game but it is cool to see this sort of split out um other stuff that has happened um i guess while we're on the leaderboards uh we can head over to generation two um which saw the addition of the manipulus categories for gold silver and crystal so uh your any percent manipulus or any percent glitchless manipulous categories have been moved from category extensions to the main boards. Um, so these don't allow any form of RNG manipulation, whether it be the lottery ID manip, uh, trainer ID, or you know the various like uh, encounter manips, starter manip, any of that kind of stuff. So um, sort of hoping to breed a little bit new life into uh, the Generation 2 games. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in doing non-Manips categories, I know Manip, especially for Generation 2, Manip can be a pretty high barrier of entry. Um, so this sort of gives us a, a new way to play the game, which is really cool. Um, and then the last sort of notable thing before we jump into the, the various records for the month, um, we had PSR Community Day. So PSR Community Day was back on, it was actually a weekend. It wasn't one day, it was a full weekend. Um, the April 23rd and 24th, um, where various community members would stream um, all day and do, you know, various Pokemon speedruns. Um, a lot like last time, it was a pretty good success, I think. Um, I didn't hear of any, you know, specific things that happened during it. Um, but I know that it was it was pretty popular among the runners, so uh, it was really cool to see that sort of come together with all the different corners of the community. Um, and with that, I think we're ready to go into the notable runs. So, Iron, you want to start off with the Gen 1 through 3 stuff? Yes. First up, uh, sorry, I'm just going to pull up the, the stream here. We, we have... Gears blue any percent glitchless Japanese world record uh, 147.25. I'm not too familiar this run. Um, as you can see here, this is you get sand attacked by the Pidgeotto. That appears to be the biggest uh, time loss uh, that they had. Um, 
Is this this is this category? Is this the one that has to do the rocket hideout? I believe it is. Um, I don't. I think that's the classic. Oh, okay, because I thought Japanese. I guess they probably made a more like a traditional like, glitchless category for Japanese, because Japanese has always done the classic rule set, but they probably yeah. made a Japanese. Yeah. Quickly okay. try and get that up in the background, but yeah, <laughs> sorry. I was trying to pull up the, uh, the leaderboards just to see here. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a specific Japanese yeah, glitchless is, classic. Yeah, this is yeah, this is this is not classic. Yeah, and then the the, yeah. the English is 145. Sorry about that. <laughs> All good. Yeah, not too many runs on that leaderboard, um, but the, uh, the classic run, if you want to just compare that, it's about 10 minutes slower. 10 or 10 minutes slower to do the hideout. So, uh, not uh, not the not the most popular category, but definitely a, a good achievement by Gravir. So congrats to, to them on that. Yeah, I believe the uh, uh, glitchless classic is the favored one like the japanese runners japanese yeah there's been there's been quite a bit of activity on the english side of classic as well um particularly in the last year or so i think a lot more people have ran in the last year uh, i did a run of this a long time ago but it's uh it's a nice way to play you don't have to worry about doing manipulations it's uh Anyway, we're kind of we're kind of getting sidetracked here. Yeah. Um, uh, the next uh, notable run is a new route in Pokemon Yellow, any percent with no save corruption. Um, too familiar with with this, um, the route itself. But, uh, pretty much, some new magic was found playing with these crazy menus. <laughs> uh, to uh, involves triggering a metapod encounter it's just some more i guess a bit of a moonwalk there and, uh... <laughs> yeah i know the, the old route old route was kind of similar to this um it basically centers around what's called v manip um it was sort of like a a long theorized rng manip that uh would allow us to do some of this stuff and I think this is just a different application. It may be a slightly different manip, but it's um, the same idea and then a different application of the glitch that you saw there in Victory or in uh, Viridian Forest. Um, and now I think it's more using like arbitrary code execution than just sort of getting item under flow and warping to the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that was a level zero metapod. <laughs> it was a Safari Zone uh, hooked fish encounter as well so it's all sorts of messed up <laughs> got got all of the no save corruption runs just for like the randomness behind them all like completely wild also this ends up being like a one second world record i think compared to the old route but from the looks of it i don't know if there's earlier stuff that's any different but a bit yeah, behind there the... Yeah, the uh, yeah, it doesn't save much. I guess probably could be improved, but yeah, it's a small improvement on. I was just looking at the uh, the leaderboards here for the uh, for that category. Uh, I guess Stocky. This is oh, also yeah. This was this was Stocky, right? Who has it? Yeah, we forgot to mention yes. uh, <laughs> mention him by name. Apologies for that, but uh, yeah, Stocky had the previous record uh, in this. Uh, the uh, the top times in NSC have always been around high 12s, low 13s uh, sort of uh, realm. So we'll see how much lower this can get um, eventually with this new route. Um, it's possible. I'm not actually sure how, actually how good this run was. It'd be very interesting to see how uh, much better that time could get. And our third notable run from the um, and one to three is probably the most notable, I guess the most most popular again our category of the three, which is Fire Elite Green Plus. This is Juan Lee Ways. Um, getting a very nice a new time, best time in this category uh, on console with 201.19. Uh, this just beat out the previous record by a couple seconds, I believe. And uh, just a really solid run. Um, 
his his comment on the SRC leaderboards is uh, pretty he pretty much said is just he didn't execute it very well. Um, if you want to see good execution, watch the run below, which which would be I guess Poker Guy's run. <laughs> but um, Juan Lee is a really strong runner of this game. Uh, he's raced a lot. Uh, he's in the tournament. Uh, he, he plays this game a lot. Um, did a lot of did a lot of stuff uh, that you would normally not see in a high end uh, fire leaf green time, uh, including picking up the the mark guy potion on route one. I don't normally see that from the high end runners. Uh, did a lot of bag manipulations. We've all we've been we've been there was a bit of a joke going around in the tournament that uh, <laughs> if you want to do uh, world record strats, just bag manip the spinners instead of uh, run to bikes and stuff. So. Um, big congrats to Juan Lee. He's been grinding this game for a while. Um, I'm not really too sure what this fight was notable for. Um, Lorelai is always a bit of a mess with Dugong potentially using Hail, and then and the Lapras can be a problem as well. I don't recall exactly. Let's see here what happens on the, on the Lapras. Uh, well, there was a bit earlier in the fight he got frozen. Oh, okay. That, that, that can happen. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, I think it was more a case of, I mean, the reason why I picked this spot, like getting frozen, obviously, in a room is not ideal. Um, it just seemed to be the spot where I noticed the most time loss towards like the back end of the run. Um, there's one thing though, from what I heard, did like wasn't uh, Lonely very close to world record like a while ago, back when it was like a two o three or something. Possible. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but, um, the, the time has come down quite a bit in the last couple of years. There's been quite a few runners that are been grinding for top times here. Yeah, so you, get, you can get paralyzed by the Lapras. Luckily, he gets the flinch there. Um, that Lapras likes to use Confuse Ray when you're at high HP. So uh, getting that flinch is really nice to see. But yeah, this fight, there's a lot of different ways it can go. It's usually a, there's usually a lot of variance uh, in terms of um, how fast you can finish the fight. Getting no hail from the Dugong is really optimal. And uh, getting crits on Dugong and on Lapras, as well as flinching. The Lapras, uh, either of them, um, are very good as well. So, uh, there's quite still quite a lot of action going on in this game. The tournament's still going on. We'll talk a little bit about that later. And there's uh, quite a, there's a couple of runners that are uh, that are grinding for top times. I think Polka Guy is going for. Uh, I think he's going for sub two hours, if I recall correctly, which uh, seems to be definitely a possibility in this game. And uh, Main is also going for a uh, record in this as well. So lots of high end content uh, in this game happening right now. Yeah, I know Poker Guy specifically was on pace, like I think at Lance yeah. and then Lance was just mean. Or like he was trying to push, his, or like he did specifically just to try and push and it didn't work out but like in the end but yeah, you need a lot close. of things to go your way yeah <laughs> for to uh this game is very very rng heavy there's a lot of you, there's you have to hit a, i think i don't someone can correct me in chat but it's somewhere between 14 and 16 mega kicks in the entire run mega kick is 75 percent accurate so hitting all of those just saves so much time you have to hit a bunch of blizzards as well um, you get X accuracies for blizzards later, but maybe at the top end, we might see people skipping X accuracies to save time on the setup turn. Uh, and those are 70% accurate. They're not, they're 90, I believe in gen one. So the accuracy has gone down quite a bit. Be fair, and then obviously getting some timely crits as well is really good. Be fair, it is around like 1.7% for 14, 75%. Believe it or not. <laughs> uh, it's possible. <laughs> Definitely possible. Yeah. Moving on to the three yes runs, Etiquette, if you want to. Um, yeah, so this is um, new XY world record. This uh, beat War Tab. Uh, this is War Tab. Uh, beat his old time by about five seconds. Um, and if you look at the splits, uh, it was literally the first time he was ahead of his PB in the entire run was after champion. Um, his, his champion on the the old record was um, 
not very good and this one you know he saved like the 30 35 seconds that he needed to um to, to pull out the new time uh and yeah the the common theme from the run was basically just always lagging a little bit behind the pb um i think like even the the very first split the bundle b split it was like almost a minute behind so it was you know definitely an uphill battle but um I know he's been I think he's still still grinding it um so we might see another run um this month or I guess next month but um it'll be interesting to see um all right and then so that's it for 3ds um moving on to the switch um this is a new let's go EV any percent no mount skips um world record by etchy 30105 so um definitely a, a great run this beats the old record i think by about a minute um the the splits he's running against this is gonna be confusing the splits he's running against are his any percent with mount skips time um so that's why it looks like he has a 300 but uh this was the first 301 um in ev without mount skips and um what you're seeing here is part of why this run was possible. Um, basically, he switched up how he was doing the rocket hideout section. Um, and without getting too much into it, um, basically, the, the Jesse and James fight, the way that we normally did it was uh, we would sacrifice a Pokemon while using Buzzy Buzz um, to uh, paralyze the Arbok, uh, Jesse's Arbok. And that would allow us to outspeed the Arbok on the second turn. Um, and you would have a Pokemon that is weak to poison or would always die to a poison jab uh, to make sure that the Arbok doesn't target you. So if you don't get targeted turn one and then you outspeed it turn two and KO it, then you don't have to worry, ever worry about getting hit by the Arbok. Um, instead, what he's doing here is not sacrificing a Pokemon and just going straight for Glitzy Glows. Um, Glitzy Glow will set up a light screen, which allows him to take less damage from the, the Weezing. Um, it's kind of reminiscent to how we used to do the fight, like way, way, way back um, in like month two of the game being out. Uh, but we did it in a much riskier way. Um, and one of the other benefits of doing this is you're allowed to keep Sizzly Slide through this section for uh, Giovanni's Persian. Uh, which allows us to do, you know, a, a bit of a faster fight there as well. We no longer have to do the Graveler Boom strat. Um, you can just burn the the Persian, so that way you can survive a couple of hits, um, and then take it out with with uh, Headbutt or Sizzly Slide, whatever deals more damage. Um, so it ends up overall being a bit faster. I don't think this alone saved the minute um, over the old record, but uh, it, it definitely contributed to. To it being a bit faster just um one thing with this because like with the new category mm -hmm. um i don't like have you considered like just going back to let's go for instance in the first place whether you have or not how like do you or would you like aim for trying to do like an any percent run now or would you have me or i guess any percent no mount skips but then just go for the mount skip if like say the run's bad is that kind of like the plan <laughs> with runs currently would you think yeah yeah i i think the the plan with runs currently a lot of runners i, I think etchy might be the only one who and even he's not grinding it really anymore um i think the way i do plan on coming back to let's go at some point um my summer plans are a little bit uh set in stone now but um the, the way i would basically approach it is if if my run was going to break the 300 barrier and get down to a 259 with a mount skip, I would try to go for the mount skips. Um, or if my run is like not PB pace, essentially. Hmm. Um, but if I can get a 301 or whatever with without doing any of the mount skips, I probably wouldn't go for them. Um, I, I think it doesn't waste much time to go for it because essentially the in order to get a mount skip all you have to do is run in front of the trainer and hope it doesn't see you essentially uh because there's no consistent setups so it doesn't waste any time except the trainer sees you instead of you talking to them which is maybe a couple seconds um if you do it to all four of the trainers so it, it's not really a lot of 
downside to going for it. It's more just like which record would you or which time or category would you personally hold higher? Um, and I, I think I would hold the no mount skips for me personally higher uh, just because it's more in line with how I like to play the game. A very in-depth answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's, that's good to get like that perspective though, because I mean, it's like I get like Edgy's. I, I was gonna say like I guess I hear from Edgy, but Edgy's like, he's so good at this game. Oh, he's gotten really, really good at this game now, especially since um, like since the uh, summer last year at this point. Oh, well, that was almost I feel like summer's been a year. But either way. It's like with the the push by that he's gone really good since then so it's maybe a bit of a like just having a different perspective from someone who's kind of got both the times and can kind of just do whatever again well, i guess like either way maybe i'm just overthinking this now that i'm <laughs> thinking about it but either way uh i'm just gonna move on from this and uh oh well, i'll let i'll let you carry on with this etiquette seeing as you know bdsp much more than i do um, yeah, so uh, this is actually the first of two any percent um, Japanese records for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Um, this is Nerd Squared getting a 2013. Um, overall, the run was very similar um, to the, the English category for this is just much, much, much more competitive. Um, so this is roughly in line with with nerds um english pb in terms of the overall strats and execution uh which i think his english pb is something like a 15 uh like a 15 10 somewhere in that range uh with the record in english being about a 14 30. um so overall a really good run really solid run um the the vast discrepancy in the timing is just Japanese ends at the end of credits uh, where English we end at the end of Hall of Fame um, and it says the the major mistake or the only real mistake here was on the Cynthia skip at the end of the Elite Four um, but everything else was pretty much the same as the English PB um, and this actually shares a time with um, you know you know who also got the exact same time in 2013. So they have now a joint record um, for the same category, uh, which is which is pretty cool to see. Is this the first joint Switch World record? I mean, it's this is the specific. first joint Switch World record. As far as I can recall, yes. I know... The only, the closest one I can think of was when the record in Let's Go was a 309.15. I got a 309.17. But I can't think of anybody ever tying. It probably has happened. I just can't think of it. Yeah. But potentially history. Um, also, just to, just to clarify for you, no squares, English EB is a 15.17. 15.17, okay. For for this for this tie, would they they wouldn't they are not gonna try to differentiate by mill, with milliseconds, right? Do they just round up round to the nearest second? Yeah, no. it usually just goes to the nearest second. Um, I think there's looking at the board. There's no plan. I assume, like yeah, and it, it's one of those it's things. A short category if, too, right? So I don't know. Yeah. It's it's a short category. The other thing is, it's a category that is essentially. Uh, it's it doesn't have much time left if that makes sense like it's it's on an obsolete version of the game that you don't actually have a way to get so there will come a day yeah. where people will stop running it forever um where you know 30 years from now someone could still do a let's go run i don't think 30 years from now somebody would ever do this again uh that may be you know incorrect i just that, that's sort of the way i see it um and so i feel like the competition of this category has already happened um and if they haven't asked for milliseconds yet then we probably won't see it Enough. set your calendar 7th of may 2052 we're gonna all come <laughs> back and we're gonna run this <laughs> yeah
Again, just Ezekiel because Legends Arceus, another area where you and Nikki are yeah. much more knowledgeable than I am. Um, yeah, so this is uh, Shady Gamer X's uh, Arceus Any% percent record uh, uh, 34626. So um, this is come down, I think, about 10 minutes since the podcast last month. Um, this was... A lot of things have happened in the last month. Um, I, th I feel like it finally is slowing down a little bit, for at least on any percent side of things. Um, that's what people always assume, though. Yeah, that's that's very true. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the the main things that happened from the last month, um, right? I don't know if it was talked about on the podcast because a I, I missed last podcast, but um, it was still fairly in, new in the routing stages. Um, the whole beginning of the game got changed uh, within the last month, month and a half, where we're no longer using Oshawott as our starter, we're using Cyndaquil. Um, and we beat up on a few high level um, Beautiflies to elevate our entire team's level like really fast in the first day. Um, and it allows us to evolve a few more things. It allows us to have a very consistent start to the run. Uh, we no longer have to worry about like, did I get a Buizel? Did I get three Buizels? Did I catch a Ponyta? Do I have enough to actually finish Ponyta? Like none of that stuff matters anymore. Uh, so it allows the start to be a lot more consistent. Um, it allows for us to evolve more bugs, which allows us to potentially get, um, you know, Cascoon and Silcoon. We're always finishing Dustox. We're always finishing Beautifly. Um, and also throughout the month um, has been come the evolution of us using stealth spray um, which allows us to be unheard by pokemon uh they they won't hear us they'll still see you but they won't hear you um and also using scatter bangs which are kind of like a way to scare a pokemon um and by scaring the pokemon you can get research points for it uh, and the main two pokemon that we can get from that are duskull which is sort of something we have to do anyways uh, well, in an area we have to go to anyways, and Toxicrook, which just by doing the story, we already finished like 30 points of it. So just getting a couple of scares in and catches is pretty quick. Um, and so, it's also very close. Yeah, yeah it's also like very basically close. Basically, no path. detour. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is sort of the culmination of all of that. Um, the record sort of changed hands between Halkery, Saiyan, um, and Shady Gamer, and then Shady sort of just put a nail in the coffin, getting Saiyan's time by about three minutes. Um, actually, like, closer to, like, three and a half minutes. Um, and, yeah, th this run was really solid. Um, not perfect by any means, but I think both Shady and Halkiri have moved over to, like, the catch -em all side of things, so I don't know if we'll see this uh, really go down much over the next month, um, but, you know, we'll sort of see. Uh, this also had a really good end game it's worth mentioning um but the way the game is structured you have sort of like the fun part of the run and then the boring end game that is like an hour where nothing can really happen except you can lose time um and just so happened this run didn't really lose much time in the end game it was a first ball dialga catch um solid strategies all around so um so yeah i think this is a this is a really good, really good run, a really good representation of where the game is right now. We go with that Dialga catch there. Sure. Yeah. You'll have to see it. Next step is Yolo Balling, and people are <laughs> dreading the idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yolo Balls are fun. What are you on about? <laughs> Thought they were good Yolo Ball on, like, the skull, not the skull, the uh, drill, but. Yeah. Oh. Bringing back shield. Drillber. Um, all right, so this is um, same game, same runner, uh, different language. This is Shady Gamer's um, any percent in Japanese record, uh, 344.58. Uh, that does include credits. Credits are about five minutes, so this is like a 339-ish English timing. Um, I don't really know too, too much about this um, particular run. It says here the didn't end up getting Duskull. Um, so I had to do Clefairy to compensate. Clefairy is a Pokemon that can be very fast, um, or it can absolutely troll you. Uh, we just saw it there. It didn't really troll too, too much, it looks like. So I uh, was able to get out of 
out of the more like RNG catching section with a pretty decent time, it looks like, um, and then just sort of held that to the end. Uh, luckily, the this is a game a lot like Let's Go, where like the language, even if you can't read Japanese um, or whatever language you are playing, it's not as detrimental as maybe some of the other Pokemon games where you would have you know, a lot more stuff in battle that you have to pay attention to. Like, did I get confused? All that kind of stuff. Um, everything has an icon next to it. So it, it should be pretty simple for, or not simple, but easier than some other games for runners to switch between languages. Um, so we saw both Halkari and Shady jump over to Japanese and snag up a couple of times there as well. Yeah, and the run is just exactly the same. Um, mm -hmm. The reason Japanese is like fast is just that the text scrolls faster by quite a bit. I assume there's not been any timings for them on the language. Like, XP's. All I need is like to get the exact timing. Right? Not the exact timings, no. Yeah, I don't blame anyone. <laughs> it's <laughs> not the most fun task to do. I think as well, there's um, there's like a Japanese runner that I think a lot of this all stemmed from, right? At least with like the roots. Yeah, oh, no. I don't, I don't remember uh, what their name was, but there a lot of the the stuff like the switching over to Cyndaquil, um. Even like using Sneasel in the end game, uh, that all came from the Japanese runners. Um, and then I think Halkari and Shady sort of incorporated it into the existing routes. Yeah, uh, I have a video up uh, in my bookmarks. Uh, Torashi okay. uh, would be one of, uh, at least had a world record in Japanese not too long ago. Na like, that name sounds familiar from when last month because I feel like Hulk mentioned that because we had Hulk on last month. Um it's not it's not that it's also one of those names I'd never heard of from like I don't think they've done any other Pokemon runs have they? I think they're one of the new people. I think so yeah. Okay. Which is always cool. Oh yeah. I'm gonna break the order of the uh the doc for a second. I'm just gonna go straight to Poker Clicker. Um, very quickly first, Poker like a normal codeless uh, tutorial world record, a 43.671. How much is there to talk about in the tutorial runs? <laughs> I mean, not really too much. So, yeah. I mean, guess short description Poker Clicker. So, yeah, it's a clicker game. Um, you have basically two types of damage, as you can see in the bottom left. You have like your Pokemon, Scroll, for example, level 10, 5 attack. That triggers once every second. And then you have click damage. Um, the click damage only scales by the amount of different Pokemon you have. Level completely independent. So, and then the main categories are basically for clicking. You either don't click at all or click loose. You have auto clicker, which is um, just bound at 10 times per second. And you have like, is it free click? Uh, I, I never remember. Um, and then you have different goals, which are usually Tutorial, Canto Champion, and 151. So yeah, Tutorial is just basically get through, I mean, 40 seconds. Uh, I've read in the Discord that they believe that like the best time possible with all the perfect luck would be is 37 and a half minute, uh, second run. Uh, it's a, it, like, it seems like it's a very... I mean, like, the video is already finished because it's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so put put your in the background, your Kanto cham uh, cam uh, Champion Auto Clicker uh, world record with 17 minutes flat. Or like a 17.815. Yeah, I mean. so while Tutorial has basically, I want to say, like, maybe more the favorite... Uh, speedrun under the poker clicker community people i want to see say um, like recently more and more people have come over from like the pokemon speedrunning side to poker clicker um, i think we're maybe also just used to bit longer runs um, but we've also been really enjoying the auto clicker because um, i mean clicking is hard and we've all heard of carpal tunnel and all that fun, all that stuff yeah <laughs> um, and yeah especially auto uh, canto champion is just it scales well. 
and you have like a lot of stuff to do and yeah auto click at this category especially has like profited a lot from Corby may coming over and just uh i forgot someone else also worked it but we have gotten a lot of quality of life changes like you can see the speed run time on the bottom right um we have auto like also an inbuilt auto clicker now which automatically always clicks on the pokemon field when you could in theory but you so you don't like need to hover the mouse and turn it on and off and all that um together with the fun stuff that it has been found out that a second in firefox takes one and a half second real time so it's actually faster to play this game on google chrome <laughs> Interesting. Are you gonna That's have... so weird. Is there gonna be <laughs> browser is... variables? Please tell me there's gonna no, be browser no, variables. No, we, oh. we just... Uh, but yeah, that's just all the things that happened. Um, plus me just preparing for Ian ticket, um, doing like lots of offline runs. Ironically, this world record was 0. 0.3 seconds faster than my poly fastest time. Alright. Um, so... But yeah. Like, from what I understand, because, like, I mean, I, being being yeah. around me, you hear stuff with Poker Clicker. Um, <laughs> was this like, this is like a new, or was this like optimizations to the route, or like a new route completely from, I think it was SWC? Uh, uh, or that no, has done like, so, done some of the work at the very least. We have, op we have done, I think, all a bit differently, but we have all always been in contact of what we want to do. Right. And just basically trying to smoothen out the route for me to make it more consistent together with just optimizing and optimizing simply because we can for example instead of going the cycling road which has stronger pokemon which take longer but actually give you more pokemon you could catch like ponita doduo chelda you go still route 13 14 15 just because the Pokemon are weaker and you are able to still catch sufficient Pokemon before that. Uh, how many Pokemon do you need to actually catch to get Kanto Champion? Uh, I have never actually counted. Okay. To be honest, because like the damage, the click damage scales by Pokemon you have. So I just look at the click attack I have and have like values for that that I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, but the, the only thing you basically hope to aim for is 40 Pokemon before Erika, because then you get um, an Oak item that you see in the top right, the Poison Barb, which inc increases click damage there. I just put it on. And that obviously, like, increases your DPS by a lot. Uh, so, uh, is making, that... making, sorry, making, making progress in this, like, you have to catch things, or there are like, like, like trainer battles badges that kind of thing yeah, like, like you catch pokemon on the way in order to get stronger to increase your attack um the pokemon on the route also get more and more hit points you need to defeat mm. 10 pokemon in a route in order to finish it um you need to defeat dungeons on the way um also for catching pokemon you get like dungeon tokens so sometimes you need to catch some more just to, for the tokens um, and then you need to defeat the gym trainer sometimes in order to open up new routes. Like for example, beating, defeating Erika here unlocks Pokemon Tower, Poke Tower, which then unlocks Route 12. Um, yeah, and then you make your way through there, obviously like hoping to catch everything on the way, but also like cutting your losses. Because, like, especially Viridian Forest and Mount Moon immediately have so many different Pokemon that you don't want to reset to get all of them. Um, so, because I'm assuming there's events during this. How much, like, do, is it set up so to avoid events making, like, taking effect in the run? Um, so most events, fortunately, don't happen during Kanto. Okay. Like, if there was an event just during that run, it was uh, unlocked after getting Kanto Champion, actually. Um, there is an extra tab for events. But usually what you could also do is change the date on your PC. Um, that actually influences the date of the game and hence if you have events or not. 
Interesting. But obviously is a bit annoying if you were to stream it. Yeah, that's... That is... Many things nowadays don't like it if you change your date. Yeah, I like to know. Like, for uh, the Switch... Like, the Switch games changing the date or... Not, not anything for the speedrun, but for, like, casual things. It can be... Not ideal. But... I don't know, just... Change the date... Changing it for the browser. Browser runs, runs are very weird <laughs> to me. <laughs> Maybe it's just again like the lack of knowledge and things, but just the, I, I just find that amazing. Just like you can change the day just to avoid the like um, avoid the event. Like yeah, there's some there's some fan games that are done with um, essentials, so not they're not. Um, it's like a Windows executable file you open, that you download and you open. It's not like a ROM hack or anything like that. And some of those you can change dates, I believe, uh, I mean, to, uh, to change things. If I truly want to blow your mind, so if you want to do 151 um, on your own, mm -hmm. then you need a lot of quest tokens by finishing quests. And in order to like get more quests for free, you need to like switch your day in order to get free ref refreshes. And also you could, in theory, like root out the games in the, like the days in the future to know which quests you are gonna get. Has anyone gone? Those are those are those days like just based on day month or is it like year involved as well? Mm, there's probably year involved in, as well. There's also your current level wow. involved as well, and then probably I don't know. It might even happen that that when a new patch comes, it suddenly changes as well. So um, yeah, it would be a hell lot of work for. <laughs> would probably not be worth it, but it's like you could really dive deep in the tag. Hmm. How much is this really oh. different compared to the two player, three player, four player versions if they dream run? So they are maze um, main maze yeah, there's... plugin or something right. Right. May also made a co op plugin um, for multiple players. The main difference I wanna say is at first that you have like more starters. Like you just need to imagine, like, we pick Bulbasaur, which is like three Pokemon. Then they get like three, po three two players get like Squirtle on top, three Pokemon. Three players get Charmander on top, three Pokemon. Um, so just catching on the way is a lot easier. And I believe they can also sometimes just diverge paths and one only does one thing. So um, I want to say you have a lot easier time and just having like being sure that you get all the things that you need to get because someone is gonna get it it's like the pokemon attack and click attack do they are the, is that the same for everyone and that goes up at the same time or is that like split between them well as a pokemon i believe are shared as well as the badges okay yeah it seems like there can be some also, that can be done there I have well. sadly not gotten to play it yet because all my most of the friends of the community are American and time zones are dumb. Uh, time zones are dumb. <laughs> I agree with you on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'll hope we'll make up for that at some point and do that then. Hopefully so. Yeah, I, I know all about time zones because of the Fire and Leaf Green tournament. There's, uh, there's one one race that i was in that i was scheduled with two european runners luckily they were they were okay with going super late their time so it worked out <laughs> but uh that's yeah, definitely hard and going to the, the last noted run now and this is secure accounts rescue team dx and you said no wonder mail world record um I believe this was oh well, it's a New world record, but this was also a world record that Secure had last month on the uh, uh, the last podcast. Uh, this time, though, it seems to be, like there seemed to be a lot of good and bad luck uh, that happened. It was a quite a roller coaster, from the sounds of it. It was like a, the, like a bad grotto section, the slow canyon exit, but that got balanced out by a really quick fugitive uh, fugitive section when you're kicked out of the town, basically, and you're being chased. Um, however, then after that, the uh, the chestnuts 
if you this if if you've played this sorry the uh you played oh, if you've played the game uh there's a section where you gotta get chestnuts for monkeys so they can build your base out better uh that seemed to all oh, that section was very slow um but then there was also like a very bad magma section uh, in the magma magma cave magma the magma dungeon <laughs> um which ended up taking a lot of like reviver seeds so the reason why you saw the walk in here at the uh start of this uh this clip was to try and get more reviver seeds to make the final section easier however that doing that cost a fair bit of time overall though it's still nice to keep ahead i think it ended up being around 30 seconds off of the uh, previous world record so congrats to secure account with that and we're now going on to the marathon runs which there was from my counting this uh, I may have missed a marathon or two because um, I'm bad I guess I don't know um, but from my count there was 34 marathons uh, 34 marathon runs that's happened this past month. Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a lot of those was down to a couple in particular, and we'll get onto them later. But this first one, Mid Spring. Uh, God, this is a pain for me to say. Uh, Mid Spring Speed Fling. Uh, this is Carver May, who we had mentioned a few moments earlier, with Poker Clicker Counter Champion, Auto Clicker Codeless. Uh, a 29.07. I believe this is. I'm gonna assume this is from before, like the auto clicker. Yeah, uh, you can see the auto clicker, yeah. like the the outside auto clicker in the bottom right, for example. Yeah. So this being uh, before May, I wonder if this maybe may I'll push May to maybe implement that, just so it's easier for marathons and itself. <laughs> but yeah, so that was that's the first one. Then going on to the second one here, uh, there's a couple of runs for really, really lots of lore 3. Uh, the one that's on screen is Primal Pizza's Red Any% Glitchless Classic. This ended up being finished in a 208.42. This is the Rocket Hideout section, which I mentioned back at the beginning, which has to be done. Uh, there's also a new, like, new Pokemon Snap All Pokemon Speed Run by Pwned Noob, and that was a 408.54. I could not find that run. <laughs> There's quite a few runs this past month that seem to have just uh, vanished. Uh, however, this is one of the one of the marathons where there was a lot of Pokemon runs. I mean, you're on the screen, so I'll let you talk about this run. But this is this was from Face My Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. So I uh, this is a run I did at Leaf Green with uh, with Venusaur. Um, this run was really crazy i you, i don't know why you picked the specific spot but there was i just picked a random got, time i'll be honest if you want me to oh, like okay. tell me to go somewhere else i'm trying to think go to the yeah, go to the rival two fight which should be around uh, i can't uh, that's too close to that uh, yeah, just after misty oh just after me out of here uh, there we go i think i found it <laughs> this <laughs> is Okay, you've just defeated, I think, the Rathid? Nope. That's just, no, that's, that's the end of the fight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess there's the next Pokemon. I'll fall back. Go back this... a bit. Well, there we go. That's, that's, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, there we go. Which is a nightmare. <laughs> for... Yeah, yeah, this is... That's my um, excuse. Yeah, so Bulbasaur is not terribly good at this game, this run. It's just, Grass is a terrible typing. Um, it doesn't really get any good poison moves either. Uh, the strat pretty much, I've probably talked about this before, but the strats use physical attacks. So a lot of the time you're using things like return and secret power and um, and whatnot. Uh, so the, 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 the best times in the 220s or so, um, legs behind quite a bit to Charmander, but it's a very interesting run because you do a lot of very unconventional stuff in the late game. Uh, this run, I did something which I'm not sure if it's faster, but it is definitely interesting to watch. Um, for this run, I used a female Bulbasaur. Um, starters, it, the female is 
pretty hard to get. I think it's like one in eight or something like that. Um, mm. So uh, it's very hard to get one of these, but with a female Bulbasaur, you can do some funny stuff with Attract. Um, this is a strat that's used in Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, uh, Glitchless. No, oh, Glitched, Manipped. Um, no, Glitched, Manipless, sorry, <laughs> with with, uh, with Gyarados. You do use Attract quite a bit on the champion. Um, so I tried to, I, I just decided to, to show that off for this run. I'm not sure if it's actually faster. Um, if everything goes well, it can go, it can go really well. Uh, this, this run in particular was, the early game was absolutely insane. Pretty much you need to crit a lot, um, to get a good time early. Um, so for this, this Pidgeotto, it's like a, it's a range to three shot with Razor Leaf. Um, and I get crit here, um, which means I guaranteed, as long as I hit this Razor Leaf, which is not... 100% accurate. Um, so that guarantees the, the the KO on the Pidgeotto. But now for Charmander, this Charmander is also a three shot uh, with Razor Leaf. It's two shot with with Overgrow. But this thing will would kill me in uh, with Ember. But I got the crit in Overgrow, which is uh, guaranteed Oko. That was insanely good. Um, and having Overgrow for this bridge is extremely good because you you have to two hit a lot of things. Uh, it, it helps quite a lot to have Overgrow for this. So this is like one of the really good crits. Um, there's a few others um, on Route 3 I had as well, which were which were insanely good. Uh, it was definitely a lot of fun to do the run. It wasn't a great time in the end. Uh, I did die quite a few times. Uh, I can't remember exactly where, but we'll, we won't talk about that. <laughs> I will say... Yeah, really good event. There's There are a lot of other Pokemon runs at this event too, so let's, let's get on to those. Yeah, so... Well... We'll say that you uh, you got a it was a two forty three thirty five in the end, but there's also Sparkle Lantern with Hard Gold Soul Silver any percent glitchless manipulus, with a four four hours and fifty eight seconds uh, for their run or their, their run, and then there's also Joker Sleeps and T Pat with Let's Go Pikachu EV Diploma that was a five hours and seven second run. There is Aspect uh, with Shining Pearl any percent no out of bounds. Yes, that's no out of bound. Uh, 49.41 with that. Uh, Chrysosaurus. Uh, it's Chrysosaurus. I've just realized. Okay, Chrysosaurus, I assume. With Legends of Artists, 70%, a 409.18. Epic Yoshi Master. Uh, with Mystery Dungeon. Explorers of Sky, Randomizer 10 Dungeon. Uh, with a 44.12. And then last but not least, there was Etchy with the... Platinum Surprise Ultimate, which ended up being a Spirit Tomb. This was a 5 19 25. And he just decides to take a shirt off there for some reason. I think this was the final run in the marathon. Uh, that was probably some sort of goal. But. May as well show that off, I guess. I don't know. I like, so, just as um, a bit of behind the scenes for the podcast. And I guess for this, I didn't know, I didn't get to catch this run. This would have been at like three in the morning for me at this point. Um, and I didn't go back and watch this. So when I was looking to get the time for what time this finished, I just happened to click like the end and actually was off with this shit. I had no shirt on and I was so confused. <laughs> I was very confused. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Watch Marathon Runes if you want to be not confused about things. Um, Whilst it let us play in the background uh, very quickly, because there was also speed stuff for trans lives. Uh, there was no vods that I could find for this, so I cannot tell you what the times were. But they are Chris with uh, TCG 80% glitchless. And there's also new Amber with Let's Go P2 EV any percent. I put glitchless question mark, I assume, because there was not Probably, the yeah. name there was not the name decided because I just copied this over from last month. The text. So, I guess it'll be any percent no mount skips with the current wording. Um, on to the next marathon, Archith Archithon 3, which is the Celeste Community Marathon, which uh, which is specifically no Celeste runs. Or at the very least, they might have some Celeste runs. Might be wrong with that. Um, but either way, this is Frozen Flygon and. Uh, water with flavor with Poker Clicker Co op Kanto Champion Auto Clicker in 2328. Uh, 
Did you happen to catch this run, uh, Nikki? Uh, no, sadly not. Uh, I think this was also the weekend where we had like three marathons at the same time. Yeah. I think, yeah, speed, tra speed stuff for trans lives was the same weekend, I believe. And this might have been Faith with Heroes as well, actually. Yeah. It That's was cool. a crazy weekend. Yeah, definitely was from the sounds of it. So we'll just move on to the next marathon, which is, um, what is it? Brazilians Against Time, uh, Pascoa 2022. I cannot speak Portuguese, so I probably said Pascoa wrong. Um, but both the runs were done by LD, who is currently on the screen. Uh, the first run was Red Custom Star to Snorlax. And then there's also this run, which is Stadium 2 Challenge Cup. Um, it was a 2.48.19 and a 3 hour and 42 seconds, respectively. Uh, onto the, this marathon, this is Game Over Cancer, Spring 2022, with uh, Pro Peace doing red any percent glitchless. This was a 2.07.55. Then we have Retrothon 2020, a lot of marathons going with the 2022 here uh, at the end. Um, so this is Retrothon 2022. Dijon Ketchup with Blue Reverse Badge Order, this is a 5420. Then the other very long and big marathon with a lot of Pokemon runs, uh, Eon Ticket, which, Vicky, uh, this is your run in the background, so is there anything specific you remember with this run? This was a uh, 1751. Yeah, the run was actually pretty solid. Uh, one of the changes was, of course, we had a donation incentive for the starter. So I did not pick Bulbasaur, but I picked Squirtle, which the difference shouldn't be too big. Uh, I mean, most damage comes from clicking anyways. Uh, but yeah, overall, I mean, less than, less than a minute from World Cup. Um, yeah, pretty right. much a solid run, I believe. So just a typical, maybe, yeah. I think here and there I needed to like let go of a Pokemon, but that's just something I have to do anyways. Yeah. Um, Eon Ticket was a marathon that was uh, set up because Amoeba's house got broken into. For anyone listening who is not aware of uh, Eon Ticket. Uh, I ended up reason I forgot the last, it's got Amoeba's run at the end. Uh, I'll we'll just quickly click to the end. It was a good amount though that was raised, which is always great to see, especially um, given the situation that happened with Amoeba. Going back to the blindfold bit, because this was one of the donation incentives. Uh, doing the... all the way up to Roxanne, I think it was? Blindfolded? Yeah. Yep, this was epic. I, lo I loved watching this. It's just considering it was like 3am for him. Yeah. yeah. Like doing blindfold is one thing, but doing blindfold in the middle of the night, you're probably half asleep. Let's mess. If I recall correctly, I think he intended to save this guy. <laughs> this, this can kill. This can kill the run, and he didn't. <laughs> and uh, luckily, it went well. So because he entered the fight at pretty low HP. Oh, <laughs> He's yeah. in like. Oh geez, yeah. As I also don't think he knew what his HP was as well, so he, he insisted on no uh, spoilers from his couch. He did hit the minute though. Hit the minute blindfold. Also, tackle at that stage. <laughs> you gotta be ha you gotta be lucky. This is random AI. <laughs> oh, I missed two wait, tackles. what happened? You missed two tackles oh. in the time. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. but. Yes, these, those are not the only Pokemon runs. There was also New Amber with Let's Go Pika Baton Pass. Um, Ezeka, you also had a room with Legends Arceus. Uh, in this, yep. If you remember anything quickly about that. Um, it's technically the Turbo World Record. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, yeah, no, it was... Uh... It was, it was a solid run all around. At the time, it was within three minutes of my PB. I've since beaten my PB, but... Um... But yeah, it was it was a it was a really good run, um, overall. That's not a training you normally fight, is it? <laughs> Emeralds? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're not supposed to fight them. <laughs> um, yeah, there's also aspect with Shining Pearl reverse badge order. 
Uh, there is May with Alpha Sapphire Trade Alt Main Latias. I remember that having um, discovery like discovers things about trainer IDs and experience. I think at the start of that run, it was a bit of a rocky start on that end because uh, I believe there was no boosted experience. Oh, uh, so I had to start the run again. Oh, I had to start the run, uh, start the run again. Got my teeth in. Um, but anyway, there was also no hands OP versus uh, Shelter Sight with Fire and Leaf Green. 80% Squirtle versus Charmander. Uh, that ended in a, a win for Squirtle. The best starter from Gen 1. Um, there's also Shelty and Zelda. There's a Fire and Leaf Green Iron Mon showcase. I don't know which version specifically. I shoot. I, uh, I, I don't mean, think it matters. Yeah, I was gonna say I probably it probably doesn't matter. I assume they didn't manage to get the furthest because Iron Mon's mean from that's one of the few things I know about it. It's a meme with its uh the endings and stuff oh, like with uh well just randomness and what you get given. Uh there's Eshi versus T Pat with Let's Go Pika versus Eevee. Uh an eighty percent raise. That ended up being a win for Eevee unfortunately, but it is what it is. Uh, that was a 3 12 32 uh, against a 3 11 08. Uh, there's also, uh, fine, I guess, finally, other than the Amoeba's run here, there is Swift Loot with White to White Tree Hollow, which was a 5 38 flat. Nice, on ticket. <laughs> so, going on to it, actually quite, there's quite a few runs for. Uh, speed gaming, uh, speed gaming marathon for no kids hungry. Uh, but that's not this one, and the reason why uh, <laughs> was because when I went to look for the vods, there again there was just none of them there. Unfortunately, the only reason why I happened to know, uh, so one of the runs was from M Chan with Yellow Glitchless. Uh, they put the final time in the Gem One to Three Discord, but the other runs that were there was Conception with Pearl and Percent Manipulus. Razor Flame Coon with Puzzle Challenge Intense, Guy Bills with Stadium 1 Rental Rando, and then Adef with Emerald Rando Evolution Chaos. Um, however, the marathon that's actually cur currently being played at the moment, this is from Nothing But Speedruns. Uh, this is Genesis with Gold 80% No Save Corruption, a 54 41 for this. And then the final marathon run for this month. That I could find was BSG uh, from BSG Marathon 34, uh, Box Meister with Let's Go Eevee with a 330 19. Whew. There was a lot of marathon run. I think, uh, yeah. You have two more below that, I think. Oh, uh, no, these are the upcoming marathons coming up for oh, this month. My bad. No, thank you. That was a good segue. Oh, allow me to do that segue. Um, so this is Spring Tide Storm, which is going to cause me problems next month for the amount of Pokemon runs. <laughs> but this is... Well, is there any particular highlights from this? I mean, the one I can see right there immediately, Pokemon Legends Arceus, 70% from Entica. Yeah. Um, are you going? Are you going there or are you no? Doing I will be. I will be online. Yeah, that's actually worth noting. This is a partially in-person, partially online um, event from PS Star Diversity. Uh, and it is. I think it's next weekend, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Starts in a week. Yeah. So it'll be. It'll be cool. I will not physically be there, but I will be doing the the Legends run. I oh, know, poor me, but he's been made a run at oh, five to one in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at this, um, Coliseum from Sparkle Lantern, that'll be a good run. Coliseum's a great speed run. Great soundtrack. Great soundtrack, uh, especially Nas Coliseum. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'd say the Pokemon Soul Race is great, but it's Candy Floss. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a good, that'll be a good race as well. I'm excited to see the Trick House. Ooh, what is Trick House percent? 
I, I don't know. I'm assuming it's just be. <laughs> probably just get through the trick house which is only like an hour in but you need to have like strength and surf and everything in order to get through everything maybe not surf but you do need strength at least so that's probably why it's a bit longer probably just from start get through the trick house is it gonna i thought trick house was you have to get oh you have to at least beat all the gyms to get all of them i thought but maybe i'm wrong with that well, maybe that was like what it was in Emerald. Yeah, and the earlier gen. Yeah, so just like looking, seeing that's a two hour estimate. How far does two hours get you as a kit? In Oras? In Oras, you only need Cut, Rock Smash, Flash. Well, what Flash is like suggested. Yeah. Uh, um, and strength. In the originals, you did need all of the badges. Ah, okay. But this is just HMs. That makes more sense then. Yeah, that that actually will. That does sound like an interesting run then. Never, never heard of anyone doing a trick house percent run. At least in Aura, or just in general, but especially in Aura. Um, uh, there is also running nights. A uh, gym B. Oh. I just realized never said so actually no you mentioned it was starting next it's starting in a week from now the springtide storm i assume it'll be a couple of days um but yeah on to running nights gym b with rts any percent on the 20th may at three in the afternoon all these times are in the uk by the way um so three in the afternoon and then there's also and I apologize for the terrible pronunciation. Uh, Odyssey du uh, Jeu Video 2022. It's a French marathon. Um, and it's Etienne versus Bill Bonsai on the 21st of May at just before 6 in the evening. And it's red any percent glitchless, no instant text. I'm not sure what the course means in brackets. Do you know where the kit? I don't. Then we will find out <laughs> on the 21st of May. It might be like a uh, tour. Like, I've seen people do runs like they're guided by someone else. Oh. Could be that. I'm not sure what. That's my best guess. There's two runners, right? It's two runners. It says race in the thing, but I mean, to be fair, though, yeah. you, again. Yeah. You, you never know. Um, we'll find out on the day. <laughs> oh, I, I just looked it up. Course just is French for race. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, my next, my next question was whether that was another language. So that makes sense. I was just guessing. Dude, like, everything else was in English. <laughs> like, no, no. <laughs> That's French for glitchless. <laughs> But yeah, so that is the last upcoming marathon as of right now, it, like for within the next month. Um, that's obviously GQ's uh, races have been announced. Schedule's not being announced, but the actually it's not being announced yet, has it? Not yet. Right, it will yeah. be later today. <laughs> that has been announced. Uh, ESA's also announced that oh has done the first course, I'm gonna believe. I yes. think they know the runners at this point, but we'll we'll go over them. On the podcast before they happen. Yeah. Um cool thing that's happening. Ian, seeing as you took you've been taking part in this. Yeah, the Fire Leaf Green tournament is still going on. I don't I got knocked out in the second round, so I haven't been following it as much. Also, a lot of races I've been at work, so I've not been able to watch, but we're getting pretty deep into the tournament now. I think I think this is the semifinals here. Um Yes. Someone could correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's right. Semifinals, it seems like races. one race is might either hasn't been scheduled or it's already happened. I'm gonna guess. No, it hasn't been scheduled yet. I, um, that's why it's not there. I and, don't know who's in that race, but I know I think she, if it's Shiro, I know Shiru. Uh, it takes be, a little while for Shiru to schedule races. I've noticed because I had to schedule one with him. Um, 
yeah. yeah, there's uh, there's two there's two races scheduled right now, um, and the winners of these three, each of the races, are going to be the finalists. So, you need to win to advance. I think there's like like you got the the two races up there: Pickle Pop, Amoeba, and Main for the for tomorrow actually, uh, one in the afternoon. That's in Eastern apparently. Um, um so and, that's, that's Eastern time. Yeah. And then right, so the first the first race or I guess the the one race that's not there is Ananon, Shiru and Kuker. Ooh, European race. Yeah. That's very interesting. That's a really that's a really good matchup. I mean all of them at this point the I mean all of them are good like good matchups this the runners either that have been very very good or have been very fortunate in the tournament. I don't know. I've not been able to watch some of the races either. Um but Look at that, like, Wanli, Pokegai, Kadneys. And you got, like, the world record holder and the former world record holder. That'll be a good race. Did Pickle and Amoeba race in the last round? I think that was the case. Each other? I'm not, I don't remember. I think that was a race with JP. Possibly. And it was, like, very close at the end. So that'll be a good one, because Main's also a very good runner as well. I mean, yeah, this is, it's all going to be very good. Uh, all the runners are very good at this point, so it should be very good matches coming up. And yeah, then... the, the 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 competition is much much stronger this year. Um, it was very very difficult to uh, advance compared to last year. It's really good to see. Yeah, go on to the leaderboard roundup, as always. The link pops out. Feel free to mention it because there's a lot of runs. But straight away from what I can see, any percent like fit up, oh, any percent glitchless in red. Fifth place for Yujito with a 145.54. Very good time. Got Grogia's run that we mentioned earlier on there. Um, fourth place in. Any percent glitchless classic for good at being simple with a 159.33. Congrats on the sub 2 there. Uh, also, congrats on sub 2 for Rinchan on any percent glitchless classic Japanese, the 159.14. And then second, actually, in any percent for Grogia as well, uh, with a 119.577. Eighty percent glitchless in yellow. Twenty fifth for Ekman. Sixty eighth for Jordan. Jordan, how was your run? One fifty seven fourteen. Jordan, wow. Uh, that yeah, that that was a, it was a bad champion fight. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't guess. <laughs> it wasn't even like it was. I, it's the the executor put me to sleep twice in a row. <laughs> oh jeez, so dumb. <laughs> It actually it cost me the two oh two and after effect. I mean I got can't complain. It was it was a good run. Uh, probably my level. I haven't I haven't touched the game since to be fair, I've been distracted though. Mm. It's a good run. I, I did I enjoyed I enjoyed running yellow. I was surprised. I was not expecting to enjoy it as much as I did. Um Ooh, second for curtain, aim percent no safe corruption. Uh twelve fifty four. Uh Ooh. On the first instance of the Manipolis uh, run for Gold Silver, wed in eighth with a three twenty five sixteen. Also a three twenty five sixteen, thirty percent glitchless. I assume it's the same run. Yeah. Uh, and then eighth place for Viola in nine percent um, with a thirteen twenty. I believe there's a fair few um, EBs from Fire Red League Green from people who are in the. or oh, who have taken part in the tournament. Not necessarily tournament PBs, but. Actually, how. I assume. Because of the Minip, do, do, like, do all the runners just take a backup uh, squirrel or. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, last year we had a couple people. I think maybe one. I think one person hit Manip. You can go for it if you want, but it's it's generally just slower because you have to wait sometimes for it. But I don't believe this year anyone has gone for it. Although I could be wrong. I haven't watched too many of the later round races. But later rounds are when you're less likely to go for it anyway. Just take the backup. Yeah, because for the backups, usually people like set their max frame to be like insanely long. Some people are waiting like 10 minutes for a Squirtle. That's really good. People just want a really good one. So if you're going to wait that long, you might as well just you might as well just go to the backup. Yeah. You've invested that much time. The 20215 though for Mockwing. Is it With you need a, you need apparently. a 20 do you need under 20230 now for a top 10? Sounds right. That's something crazy like that. So I think two years ago the record was around that point, or even slower than that. So <laughs> pretty wild. Wild indeed. Yeah, top ten. Top ten is a two hundred two forty six. All right. Okay. Actually, so top nine is two hundred two sixteen. Oh. There are yeah. There's four runners between two hundred two hundred one and two hundred two sixteen. So it's um, like, I assume that's just console. That's just console. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, because I mean, the emulator side of this uh, spooker with they're on and on. And, yeah, yeah, and then the other one with the, those two. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I had the PB last month, I believe. Um, Pokemon Emerald, uh, eighty percent glitchless. Uh, third Jester with a two thirty eight twenty. Uh, I feel like that time from Swift was from before, but apparently not. Um, Swift with a 256.15. Uh, putting, uh, putting, uh, putting her 35th. And then on emulator, uh, Ocean Baker with a 448.41. Uh, Kurt with any percent, oh, in Diamond Pearl, any percent English on DS or Studios. 15th place with a 101.36. Rubentus in 4th, uh, 80% glitchless in Heart Gold Soul Silver at 336.07. Uh, Yoshida Shu uh, with a 80% Japanese black white PB of 325.10, putting them 4th. Uh, on the podcast last month, uh, Tucker in 7th with a 313.59 in black 2. Or white two. I think white two is a white two. Yeah, yeah. White two. Any percent? Uh, Head Bob in third with a three forty one thirty two in X Y. Oh, I assume X any percent. And then seventh for Ekman in with a three forty three oh nine. Uh, Whiplash in 5th with Emerson Alpha Sapphire on emulator 30357. Um, oh, we, wow. Did we mention the time change for Oras? That was last month, right? I think. It ended on April 9th, so it would have been this month. Oh, I guess. No, we didn't then. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, runs in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, at least any percent runs. Um, obviously, Elite Four Round 2, you still have to sit through it. Um, now end at Hall of Fame, so you don't have to sit through credits. You don't have to do the final rival fight. Um, it is now at the end of Hall of Fame. So everyone's run basically uh, gets 10 minutes chopped off at the end, which is really cool. Um, so the, the record is now like a, you know, a, two, a 253 instead of a 303. Um, oh, oh. so I mean, like a 303 is still good time, it's just yeah, for context, <laughs> yeah, it's not like what a 303 would have been last month, yeah. And um, so the retiming effort, all of the current PBs for everybody have been retimed. I think we're still working through the obsoleted runs, um, just to get those all. You know, that way we have like a full leaderboard history that's correct. Mm. Um, but yeah, all of the existing runs should be should be updated. Or if they're not updated, there was an issue with the retiming, like a missing video or something like that. So 
I guess it's probably also good to mention about Sun Moon. They've had some changes as well, right? Yeah, Sun and Moon made a similar change. So um, it's not Hall of Fame, but it's the same idea where you don't have to sit through like an ending cutscene um, and sit through or have to like run away from Tapu Koko. Um, it, it now ends basically not right at the end of the champion fight, but there's like a little bit of dialogue and then it ends there. Um, so that chops off a few minutes as well. I don't think XY had anything because no, people, XY do, people just seem to be fine. It's a few minutes, I think, was the general idea, right? So kind of a bit less important to them. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't as big of a deal. Yeah. Um, let's go Pikachu Eevee. Obviously, you got new leaderboard. Yeah, some of these, I don't know if these are from this month or from last month. It's like Etchies. Which one is it? One of them. Um, one of them was from the previous month, and we actually covered it on the last podcast. I think it was the three oh the three oh three. Yeah, I think that was on the previous podcast. So some of them might not actually be from this month. Yeah, Wave War, you're getting a three oh two flat in Pikachu though is pretty pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, Wave was doing Wave kind of like snuck up the Eevee leaderboards. Um, and then ended up taking the Eevee record with a mount skip. So that's now in the, like, the normal any percent category. Um, but like still has a really respectable time in Eevee and then puts up a 302 without mount skips in Pikachu. So it's really cool to see, you know, one of the more typically early gen focused runners uh, come in and sort of make their mark on the game. And to be fair, like, think about it. Wave also has the, like on the SRC, at least the pre 1.2 shield yeah. board record, right? Yes. Yeah. Wave's just a really good runner. <laughs> I say just. That's, that's not a thing you can say just for. <laughs> um. 12th place for Saige in all obtainable Pokemon by 48-31. Um, That's a good time. Yeah. Ooh, fourth place for A. Pedro in Shield any percent 1.2 plus. Or 12-37. Park and I into Campy Floss. <sighs> I don't blame I don't blame anyone. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame anyone for doing kind of fuck. Candy Force is probably quicker. Yes. Well, at least for sword. I don't think it's a shield, but from what I've heard, it, it seems like it actually is just quicker for sword now at this point. That's what I think, yeah. Still sticking with Sobble though. <laughs> as further in. Um just a oh I'll uh, mention ninth as well for Joylin, because that's also impressive. A four fifteen forty two. Nineteenth for bouncy. Uh, 43123. Uh believe it normally a DS runner. That's just another yes. cool thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, world record for any percent shield on Japanese 1.2. I don't That's think probably the Arcanine Candy Floss route, because it's the same runner. Yeah. Um to my knowledge it's still behind the the shield. Japanese world record in general. I believe okay. there was a four ten something. Um that is because like the Japanese runners also have their like they have their separate website as well. Um which allow or at least it allowed that run without a VOD. Okay. So but Solo. Very impressive. Um Uh, fourth for Yuki Sai with a 40357 and 8% with DLC. Fifth for a Pyrjo with, with a 40456. Uh, fair few 80% with DLC runs. There hadn't been a few for a good while on the English side. But cool to see some uh, some people picking that back up again. Flip it's in 14th with a 41017. 
uh, Morgrim in eighth with uh, any percent DLC on Shield a four thirteen oh seven. Uh, more more so a trail main runner. So we'll see. I think like I think they have uh, many percent times as well, but definitely more trail main orientated. So it's cool to see doing the doing the main board runs. Uh, any percent with DLC. Saw Japanese four hundred two eleven and third place for Yuki Sai, fourth place for Yoshida uh, Yoshida Shu at four hundred two forty six. Uh, another world record on the eighty percent with DLC uh, Shield Japanese side, much less competitive. I'm gonna uh, from the looks of it, um, the, the runs are very similar, time length wise, I'd imagine, mm -hmm. but. Uh, that's still eight minutes or around eight minutes behind Ringo's time uh, on Sword, but the Shield that is world record, and also very closely behind uh, GL Phoenix in second with a four oh five fifty two. World record for Aim Single is Shining Pearl Japanese Turbo, uh, three thirty five flat from Yukisai. Um, I believe Ringo's Titans without Turbo is like a it's like a three something is like a three ninety or is that English? Uh he has a three thirteen in English. Oh, the... <laughs> yeah. So oh. Japanese doesn't allow turning music off. Um, so the runs are longer. So the Shining Pearl time without Turbo of Ringo's is a three twenty seven. Okay. Uh, there's not really any difference p in particular with the roots now at this point, is there for Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond, right? Um, it is just the Elite Four because you use the Legendary. Okay. Uh, oh, the, uh, the 15, 17, that was. Very briefly mentioned earlier. Yep. Uh, for Nurse Squared. That's a PB this month as well. Uh World uh, War Record ninety percent with turbo for Yoshida Shu. Uh a bit behind the no turbo version, a twenty one thirty one. I assume it's more so just people tend to spend a bit less time on it. It seems to be that the no turbo runs seem to be quicker than the turbo ones. Um, I wonder if it's just more relaxed, maybe on the turbo side. I don't know. For like, or it's more like of a chilled out run as opposed to like. Yeah, I don't know what people think when going for no turbo. For me personally, no turbo is more popular. So if I want to compete against others, I would go on that run. If I want to run for just myself and have fun, I would go turbo. And I think that's probably a, not an uncommon way of thinking. That right. seems to be at this point still the common way of thinking in the community. Yeah, I personally just run turbo because my hands have taken breaks Yeah, mm. from speed running and I don't want to risk it if I can just turbo instead. Oh yeah, perfect, perfectly fair. Makes sense. Um, there's a, there's a top, an entirely new top four. Oh, I say entirely new. I don't know. The runes might be the same, but with new times at least. Um, mentioned shady did, gamers. Oh, go on. I did crack into the top four. Um, oh, you cracked it, into it. Congrats. Yeah. Uh, it's Vic has, it's Victor has a three fifty eight. Um, so I just snuck past that and I think my top four time is in jeopardy because I think Chrysosaurus has a 357 and is still grinding it where I've more or less stopped so I'll probably be knocked down to at least top five soon Ooh. feeling the pressure <laughs> <laughs> but yeah second place is Siam with a 349.52 uh, Hulk with a 351.57 in third, and 
as you can the fourth with the 356.38. Anything in particular with that run? Um, was this the run? If I remember right, this is a run that. Oh, th this run was actually pretty decent overall. Um, it was my first PB with the new route. Um, mm -hmm. and then the next day, I made it to the final area. Or the final catching area. So I made it into Coronet Highlands a minute 50 ahead with less to do in Highlands and messed everything up and came out 30 seconds ahead um, and ended up just basically killing the run um, because I didn't want another 356. <laughs> um, it, it's definitely beatable. I just I have other focuses right now. Yeah, that's fair. So I see with the uh, 80% Japanese no turbo, second place a 351.53 etiquette's turbo world record. Does that ter like is that does that turbo oh does that officially make you not be the person with the most second place runs without having the world record? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> That's to bring it up. Uh, catch them all, English no turbo, Halkuri with the new world record there. A 9.13.02. Then also fourth for Sly Freak is a 13.17.05. I didn't realize it got to at least four runners. Yep. And Halkuri cool. is currently on a run. Oh. Trying to get trying to get sub nine. Yeah, looking at the comment, seeing the felt like it ruined 30 minutes of it, so possible yeah uh it's about four hours in so we'll see yeah still a bit to go <laughs> hopefully a bit to go um doo -doo -doo. uh pokemon snap fourth place for our oh, fourth place on Wii virtual console for andrew oot with a 2240 um Pokemon XE Gale of Darkness, first place for Fodo with a 2.20.22 on Battle CD RTA All 50. All 50 of the Battle CDs. Um, also fourth place for uh, Metronome, for the Metronome CD, a 1.44. Have you seen that run? Oh, like, has anyone seen that run? The Battle I've heard of it. I've heard of it, but I've not seen it. It's a brilliant run. You can only use Metronome. <laughs> and you're a Togepi and a Clefer facing them. Facing a match shop and a Geodude. I believe they also only have uh, Metronome as well. Makes it even better. Um... Welcome to Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Uh, 80% no wind male English DS slash 3DS world record from Eponymous. A 531.10. And then Shady Gamer with the Beat Darkrai no wind male English DS slash 3DS uh, world record. A 1017.26. Uh. We already mentioned the uh, accounts world record earlier. Um, technically, a world record for well, it is a world record. I think it's a default one. And um, Pokemon Ranger, any percent English emulator, a three fifty one forty five. Um, Pokemon Sweet. I'm gonna assume that's a fan game. Yeah. Uh... That's a really interesting ROM hack. So, um, pretty much, it's a like it's a it's like Fire Leaf. It's Fire Leaf Green hack, but there's this completely different type chart. Pretty much, you're you have instead of Pokemon, you have po what are called Poke Sweets. Uh, so pretty much, they've reskinned, I guess, like every Pokemon to look like a like a cake or um, a pie or <laughs> or or anything and then they have types like strawberry lemon um 
Asbury, that kind of thing. Uh, so it's a pretty weird. Oh, that's cool. It's got its own type chart, um, all that stuff. So you see, for example, oh. there he's got <laughs> Popsy Chew, which is Pikachu. Um, and um, yeah, this hat is kind banana. of weird. I look. <laughs> There's a there's banana type. There's like chocolate type. Um, this run, this run, this game is kind of weird in terms of speedrunning because most of the fights are double battles. Uh, oh. So it's I tried playing around with it and it's it's really tricky to kind of. That must be a lot. Yeah, the level yeah the level curve is kind <laughs> of weird too. Um, you have to grind a lot to uh, keep up with the level curve. Um. This this run this game has been had runs on the leaderboard for a while. This 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 leaderboard actually existed before the fan game um, series existed. There are some really weird category rules. Like if one of them was if you have a time that's faster than five hours, you need a video. So there's a few runs on this leaderboard that just don't have videos because they're slower than five hours. This is the first run. This guy's done a couple. Drake Shadow's done a couple of runs it um the video so you kind of see how the run works uh interestingly his first run he took squirtle-esque starter called square pie and then straw he used straw ander which is the charmander equivalent in this run which seems to be a little bit faster but uh definitely an interesting game <laughs> yeah um, this I have not seen a game like this. I think I think I'm I think that is accurate. No, let's, I just want to go a bit later on into the run. Yeah, some of the moves have different um some of the moves are the same like scratch. Um then like Apple Claw is like Metal Claw. The Metal Claw equivalent. Um They have some of the some of the moves have like sweet versions. Of their, uh... I mean, I mean how? Egg. Like, do you know what an Easter egg is? Like, I, 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 how do you know? Like, how much do you know specifically about the game? Like, have you played the game? I have played through a little bit of it. Right. I've not gotten to this point. Right. Um. Yeah, I know you can do the fire leaf green manipulation uh, cool. on this because I've actually tried it. Uh, the really interesting thing about it, though, is you can't really use the gen standard Gen 3 minip tools because um, the base stats are different on the starters. They're a little bit different than the uh, the vanilla versions. Also, normal type is vanilla type in this. Just to mention that as well. <laughs> okay, that's that's because, good. Because of course, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's just gr EV. It looks like he's just EV training here. He's Easter egging. Rory's odd. Alright, the true. funny thing is it's, he's facing Applin. Which oh Applin my god, I didn't even Pokemon. realize that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it actually Dolphin. became a Pokemon. <laughs> That's awesome. Swalapple. Swalapple's a great name. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of lost for words about this game. There's also a sequel to Pokemon Sweet Tooth. <laughs> with the number two, TH. Um, that oh, one, boy. I haven't seen too much of. There, are, I don't think anyone's done runs of it, actually. But that, that game also exists. Definitely yeah. one of the more, more creative ROM hacks out yeah. there. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, just the design, like the design of everything. That's cool. We must carry on with the leaderboard roundup. We just passed the halfway point from the looks of it. Oh. Uh, Poker Clicker. There's a lot of world records. Um, well, but like a lot of them from like similar categories to watch them. So, uh, start off with Tutorial Normal Colus Thunder Wizard with a 40.737. That was from a couple of days ago. Days ago, yeah. Um,. Yeah, in fact, 
Yeah, I believe the room we actually showed, which was the world record, was not the world record. That was second place now. <laughs> I forgot to update that. Oh well. My apologies. You Thunder Wizard. Um, Alright, like Shining Sprite still has the world record in tutorial uh, clickless codeless with a 746.678. Then also in auto clicker for the, uh, for the auto clicker version with a 102.275. Yeah. I guess what I didn't mention earlier, so in case you're wondering between codeless and codes. So there are two quote unquote cheat codes in the game that you can make. Um, one gives you like two master, uh, equivalent to two master balls once you've reached um, the lead four. But the other one gives you a random shiny, which is neat, helpful, M more for fun stuff, but yeah. <laughs> Just the thing you can do and get um, divided there. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, is, wait, so just the two codes? Yeah. Hmm. That's all the codes that are currently in the in the game. I mean, I uh, would be surprised if at some point they include like something else, but. Fair uh, actually, the one thing I never asked: how like. I do uh does like the Pokemon community get in touch with like the devs? Like, are they... uh, the de the, the uh, we are actually in like the big Poke Clicker Discord. Okay. So where the devs also de devs also like tell the updates and everything. Um I I'm not sure, like it was a bit of like please don't talk about auto clickers in this Discord or stuff like that. Um But no, like very like Communication is definitely there, especially like when made it, like the programs and such, the add-ons. Okay, that's cool. That's good to yeah, That's really cool. How, like there's a good interface between the the devs and the speedrunners. You never really see that in ROM hacks. There's a few ROM hacks that I've ran that that the creator is actually seen and they're actually very interested in the run. And I actually, I did a marathon run a few months ago where the one of the or the ROM hacker she actually joined on commentary. We love and so Garf actually did a lot of the routing and found a lot of skips and glitches. Um, and she just loved that it was glitched that we were breaking her game. <laughs> it was pretty cool. But most of the time, the the creators don't normally see. Yeah, speed I believe one of the creators is even speedrunning himself, preferably like the really long series and has like insane. <laughs> ideas like I, th I think he has like the 10 hour uh, 151 pokemon click this run oh wow i uh -huh. thought is the johto champion room? <laughs> i was hoping that i would do one yesterday um so i will probably do one on tuesday um is my current goal. Um, so there's no leaderboard for it yet, but yeah, it will be between probably 130 and 140. So still a well-sized um, speedrun for auto clicker, of course. Um, with the new um, feature that has been added, originally you needed 151 Pokemon in Kanto to unlock Kyoto, but that's not the case anymore. You can just um, turn that off. As well as the uh, debuff you would get for having using a. Po uh, also, originally, Pokemon would only have 20% of their stats if they were in, an, in a region not native to them, but that can also be turned off. And yeah, with, uh, without those um, restrictions, you can get a fairly well speedrun still for Johto Champion. Yeah, I mean, that sounds a lot better than having to get all 151 Pokemon seen as that room. And that was... Yeah. <laughs> from, <laughs> from the sounds of it. Yeah. Uh, where was it? Shy Spray got a lot of tutorial world records. <laughs> These are the various ones up there. Yeah. They've um, really been grinding those and had yeah. their fun with it. Um... Kanto champion clickless codeless world record from Wombo. Probably TJ Wombo, but uh Twombo, I'm gonna say that. Is uh 
Um, yeah, very respectable time. Yeah. Um, I have not dived into it since a few months when I did my first run, but no, that's a pretty big improvement to everything we have put up until then. Yes, so, with Clickless, is it was there a case again that it's just the Pokemon screen you can't click on, or like that it just doesn't click on it when you try to? Click yeah, on. you just so you just turn on a challenge mode that basically does not allow you to click, or basically if you click on there, nothing happens. So okay. you only work with Pokemon damage. Okay. Um. Cancer Champion also click a Curlist. I think he with the World Record 17 flat. Seems to have been verified yesterday. Um, SWC with the 1944. uh, 1944.077. Frozen Flag on Info with a 21.49. And then Dirk 95 with a 26.10.58. Um, a, a bunch of two-player <laughs> world records and three-player. Um, Giant Sprite and Zardes with a 1934.001. Um, in Canto Champion Normal Codeless two-player. Um, Water with Flavor and Detour Excellent with a 2038 in Auto Codeless. Thunder Wizards and Shine Sprite with Tutorial is tutorial two player. <laughs> how, how much different said, is that? They really like <laughs> tutorials. Well, I mean, you, you have two starters, so your immediate like your initial damage is just twice as high at the beginning. Um, then again, as long as you click, I mean, yeah, you also have increased click damage, but I mean, you can see the time. Okay. Yeah. So, like like the single player is forty second world record right now, and this is now forty four. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you three player ones with a TJ Wombo, Stray Bard, Raving Magic Man, uh, with a one hour 44 second point nine one uh, for Kanto Champion Clickless Codeless. And then Co op 151, uh, also clicker, Co's three player from SWC, Bobby May, and a Frozen Flygon. In 153, 51.899. I assume a lot of these are default world records. Yes. Um, Pretty sure about that. How is Shine Spray able to get a 4 plus player's time by themselves? <laughs> uh, he has just started to have fun with like doing, using the co op plugin, but just playing all players himself. Oh. And basically, I think the rule is that even only one of the players needs to finish. So from what I have heard that he just starts all four players so that he has all four starters because um, similar to Pokemon Go, like at the beginning they show you uh, Charmander, Bulbasaur and Skirtle and if you like click outside of that window a few times then Pikachu appears as a fourth option. Oh. Wait, did you say that was a thing in Pokemon Go? Uh, in Pokemon Go you could also like, right at the start, they showed you three po uh, the three Pokemon, Squirtle, Bulbasaur and Charmander, yeah. and it was kind of, if you run away, then Pikachu appears. Like if you kind of tell the game, no, I don't want them. I never knew that. Yeah. Another cool little thing. Um, Pokemon Renegade Platinum, 80% glitchless, 60 FP uh, FPS, Drake Shadow with a 307.31. Um, Ian, you've been busy in Fire Red Leaf Green Plus. <laughs> yeah, so for Community Day, um, I did almost all of these you see here are Community Day except for the Pidgeot run. So I, this game is just really good for um for for alt mains because you get double experience. You can run a lot of stuff that you normally wouldn't really want to run in vanilla because you have to grind a lot. Um picked five alt mains that hadn't been done yet and i wrote them all like a couple weeks leading up to uh the weekend but these have been done in vanilla like clefable and um nitto queen has and pidgeot as well um that one i didn't do but um yeah. they're um and i just ran them all for so these run these times aren't great i've improved since improved clefable and, and nitto queen uh, but the um 
this is kind of a nice kind of thing to do for for community day just do something that hadn't been done before um yeah, the abra the alakazam one the time is deceptive it took me 11 minutes to get an abra so this time is can be significantly better uh I ended up encounter. What I ended up doing also is like starting with Bulbasaur and using Sleep Powder on the Abra, which is a bit slower than just Yola balling it with Squirtle, but very fun first run. I didn't want to bother with that. Uh, still ended up getting trolled quite a bit. Uh, the B drill run um, by Comet, as you can see here, it was awful. Right. Um, it's just not a good Pokemon. It, it it suffered. It suffers a lot against Rival. It has kind of the uh, the Bulbasaur problem with the Pidgeot. Uh, the Clefable run, Clefable is pretty good. I know Head Bob, I think, has the best time in vanilla for that, so that's a really good Pokemon. Nido Queen also very good. Wigglytuff's just like a budget Clefable. It's slower and has worse, uh, worse, uh, stats other than HP. So, uh, definitely a nice little experiment, and, uh, routing, doing routing is kind of why I like speedrunning, is just figuring out the fastest way to get through and solve, solve a particular puzzle in this case trying to force up pokemon which may not be very good through a game and this game in this in this game it's actually really just easy to ruin anything because the double experience so it's uh, definitely a lot of fun doing these what's the shuckle for shuckle shuckle well, actually the way the... is it shuckle yeah shuckle yeah, this this game um i pretty much picked only pokemon that i could get um, technically, with the alt main rules, you have to um, use your you have to get your alt main before Misty if you can, and then mm. use it on everything from there on. You can do alt mains of like the traded Jinx or like an Eevee, um, but you get those pretty late. You need like a, at least two badges to get to that point. Um, and I only picked alt mains that you can get before Misty, just because you end up doing half the run with your starter, and that I find that less interesting. So that's kind of why I picked those. Specifically, but you could do things other other Pokemon as well. Fair enough. Shuckle, uh, you can't even get. I don't think until like much later. Yeah, you can I... only get can't. You can only get Kanto. Actually, the really interesting thing though is you can te technically only get Kanto Mons before beating the Elite Four, which is kind of what you have in vanilla. And this hack, if a Pokemon evolves from a a Joto, if it's a Johto or Hoenn Mon, it, it evolves from a Kanto Mon. You can actually get it before the Elite Four. So you, if you actually get a Golbat and make it happy enough, you can actually get Crobat um, before beating the Elite Four. That's something I might look into doing because Crobat's pretty cool. But um, yeah, Shuckle you wouldn't really be able to get until beating the Elite Four. I guess that'd be more custom starter then. I guess if custom starter is a thing for. Well, the Gen 3 yeah, games is, and for the... This is the... I'm already getting very niche here. It's a ROM hack of doing yeah. all things up, so I don't know if custom starters <laughs> will happen. So, yeah, fair um, enough. I do uh, nice fast runs too, so... Speaking of custom starters though, um... I was gonna say, Mr. Bendigan, it's actually just a lot of different German runners. Uh, with different custom starter world records. Um, so, we sounds true. That's true, Mr. Bendiger. Um, that's probably a terrible way to pronounce it, but 43513. Uh, Polywag, uh, Metrizark, or Metric. Metric Sauce. They got a 42616. Um, and then K Height for the Custom Star Chance, he got a 22906. So, uh, play there. Uh, PC Jack, uh, Grogier with a 28.41. Does anyone know what PC Jack is? Yes. It is, um, so there's a glitched item called, we call it Jack. It basically allows you to walk through walls. Oh. Um, and so the run is, it's a modified ROM where, uh, instead of your, the item in your PC being a potion, um, it's a Jack item instead. Oh. So it's glitchless other than you have this item that lets you go through walls. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, Casual Classic, uh, third place for Viola, 3349. Uh, in yellow, the yellow category extensions, 
uh, stocky with a reverse badge order, no underflow, world record 37-12. Uh... Okay, so Emerald's uh, Pokemon Emerald Carry Extension, ba uh, Battle Palace Gold, Affected Ashes with a 130-150. Is Battle Palace the one where the Pokemon just fights? Like, you don't have any input on it? Or am I thinking of a different one? If you're familiar with the I Battle don't Frontier. Remember. I feel like that's the one that will just. Or like, it's basically, basically it's just the Pokemon decides whether it wants to hit or not. Yeah. Or it's happened or not. Again first. And the Battle of Pokemon Battle on sale. Alright. That sounds like. That sounds like a run. <laughs> Sounds like, sounds one like of lots it... of RNG. Yeah, it sounds like one of the runs of time. The whole time. Um, Diamond Pearl Calgary Ascensions. Uh, second place in Manipulous Glacier, so bouncy. Uh, 4.17.04. Uh, and then world records for any percent trades. Japanese. From Lulu Teller. With a 1950. Um... Yeah. Pokemon Platinum category extensions bouncy with the Manipulus any percent world record a 307.35. Um, Heart Gold Soul Silver Manipulus any percent on English. Uh, Suji with a 216.56. Bouncy again with a 217.06. Tucker with a 217.16. Uh, uh, Manipulous 8% Japanese, Suji with the world record with a 2. Oh, it is a different time. It's a 212. Did I say 212 10 for something recently? Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe my brain is maybe my brain is just. Nah. Going, going back to the English leaderboard, I think. Oop. I'm not sure if I'm correct here. I might be thinking of a different category, but I believe the top 10 all different countries but i could be wrong about that it could be a different c category i'm talking about i remember seeing something like that it's, yeah it's that sounds like any percent that sounds yeah. like something to look at let's <laughs> see is base going to go to nope it's going to go to that i'll see you yeah yeah top 10s all different country flags oh interesting that's cool. Uh, to be fair, there's only 14 people there, but still. Yeah, but I mean, cool. still. <laughs> still, to have like, the top 10 be all different flags. Uh, uh, black, white, Kagura extensions, Manipulus, uh, Japanese, second place for Yoshida Shu with a 339.42. Um, world record in black. Two Y two for Champions Tournament, uh, Gibraltar with a five forty eight forty two. Um, Ed Bob has been doing more X Y old mains, Sylveon and S North world records four twenty two fourteen and four ten oh six respectively. Uh, Kick and run with the old main Pokes EV world record a three sixteen oh four. Third place for Etchy in Ditch Bill, a 33-36. Um, many more trade alt mains uh, from Morgrim. Uh, so there's Gallivore, Gully Support, and Scolipede. Are they? I think Scolipede might be a new one. Maybe I'm wrong with that. Gully Support and Gallivore, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're already runs. I think you're right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, main Toga Kiss, world record for Aspect, a 335.54. That's still not the Trail main world record, is it? Uh, it was Gal Galarian Darmanitan, right? Um, let me pull up the board. Have fun going through the 70 different versions. <laughs> so Galarian Darmanitan is a 335 flat. Right. I feel like it's sort of. I feel like I've heard of one that was wicked recently. Might be wrong. 
that, I'm not going to click each individual. Yeah. <laughs> No, there's there's a, like a repository of a, like a list showing like which one's the top one or is that not a thing? That is not a thing. Nope. That's something I have put in an official request to speedrun.com to make that a thing. Give them just like a Google Doc for now until they have that going. Yeah, Pretty cool. that's probably the right way to do it for now. Yeah. Um... Catch them all with DLC world record from the Fortune Game and Galactic Elliot 26 27 14. Um, do, do, do. Third place for Get the Calyrex by Morgan, a 11923 using Turbo. And then also second place for Get the Calyrex in Japanese for APUJO. Ooh, also, actually, as well, uh, a bit further up, Tower of Two Fists, Don't Get Urshifu, 6th place for Spider C, a 1-16-18. A uh, couple of old main speedruns and BSP. Uh, old main Japanese Jirashi, Lunaxi with a 3-56-27. And then Nos Nos with an old main Bibarel, 7-21-37. Uh, glitch badge, uh, glitched all badges, Japanese, you know, you know, with a 59.23. And then reverse badge order for, you know, you know, uh, with a 107.49. And then Yoshida's due in second with a 108.38. Um, another, I assume, joint world record in crash percent for Japanese from, you know, you know, with a 35 second run there. Um, Legends Arceus beat Cleaver, uh, Hulk with a 55-42 world record, Evil Beef in second with a 56-27, uh, fourth for uh, Arvand with a 57-07, uh, Kojia in fifth with a 57-08. And then, so then the stadium, tra uh, stadium transfer stadium to gym leader castle round one, uh, Pico with a 145 21.96. Uh, for Pokemon Snap, there's Magikarp percent Wii Virtual Console World Record from Quo 1730. And then last but not least, Pokemon XD Purify Lugia with the uh, world record there from Bacon Grease with a 72650. And that is it for the leaderboard roundup. Very nice. Uh, so, I guess last things to mention. Uh, for the DS and 3DS Discords, uh, there's currently Discord mod signups currently happening. Uh, so, if you're in either of those Discords and want to put yourself forward for that, do so now. You don't have much time left, I believe, at least for the 3DS. Yeah, 3DS ends today. Um, and I believe the ds1 is open for about another week um and then after the after people nominate themselves there will be a voting period um so even if you don't want to put yourself out there to be a, a moderator um in general you can at least you know have your voice be heard um in terms of the voting indeed uh i think that's the last like not podcast outro type thing that needs to be mentioned right unless it's something we've forgotten i think that's it huh? yeah well, the next the next podcast i guess um it's we currently have june 4th i understand that's that's gdq right gdq's july so it's not the next podcast it's the one after oh, okay yeah we're Don't good we. to go for we've got, okay. we're good to go oh not good to go we've got time <laughs> before we need to figure something out for that them. one that one might be a different weekend Yes, potentially. Um, I'm, but... I'm actually not. I'm actually not around that July first weekend. So. All right. Well, then I think that's be good for me as well. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because uh, I'm actually, I'm going to GDQ because also going to Educus got a run at GDQ. I do. Um, so we'll definitely be there. <laughs> yeah. So that yeah, that sounds like I'll probably get put off to the next month, uh, the next week. Uh, but anyway, for now though. 
The next podcast will be on June the 4th. Uh, Nikki, thank you for coming on. Yeah, thanks thank for you. having me. If you want to follow Nikki, the link has just been put into the chat right there. Twitch.tv forward slash Kaguya Nikki. Um, go, go follow the other host. You don't need to necessarily follow me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All the hosts and all the channel as well if you are here and you've just happened to come in for whatever reason and yeah other than that i hope you have a good risky day or evening wherever you are any other anything you want to say anyone i'm good thanks everybody for watching oh wait who's live very quickly, who is like? It's quite a few people. Oh, actually, yeah, there's a couple. I think how is Hulk still doing his uh, catch more run? Uh, as f yes, yes, yes. Okay. Looks like it. Yeah. We will raid Hulk then. He was on the podcast last month. Uh, so yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Take care. Everyone.